What up YouTube, Moose Cow here coming at you with a recap of round five for my face off with hoof bite. Here's the boneyard dish, uh, casualties. Not a ton has happened this round, there's been a few extra chips that I probably didn't actually throw in here, but the, you know, in terms of uh, extra casualties, but overall not magnificent in terms of casualties. So, uh, but uh, without further ado, let's go over what happened round five. Uh, Germany split its uh, naval Kriegsmarine from uh, these sea zones, sending um, Bismarck and uh, uh, most surface warships and subs to 105, having uh, three subs up in uh, 112, and moving the carrier and transport to um, 96, where um, we have some Germans now hanging out in Libya, which we'll walk in, obviously, to the next one of the next territories on uh, the next turn. Um, and uh, Germany has pushed itself into Western Ukraine, as well as uh, having a sizable amount of units in Leningrad, where um, he's got six heavy bombers and uh, two tacticals plus ground units uh, camped out. So he's primarily here and here with a few guys in Eastern Poland. He's got units in mainland Germany had a few units in southern France. He's also got all these guys in Gibraltar. Um, while I'm over here, because I mentioned they have heavy bombers, uh, Germany revealed a few turns ago that they had heavy bombers, I think, and uh, Japan revealed this turn that uh, they have improved shipyards, and uh, uh, Russia, surprise, surprise, to nobody, advanced uh, self-propelled artillery and uh, UK revealed that they have heavy tanks this round. Okay, uh, then on to Russia. Russia, because also Germany had taken um, these a number of territories, number of, uh, of uh, adjacent territories, so Russia decided to take some of that back, so they knocked out what was in Belarus, they retook Archangel, got a couple, uh, another two artillery in the lend -Lease. they retook Ukraine, and then they fled out of Bryansk, and they did have one guy here, but this pesky Italian came in and uh, took care of him. So that's unfortunate because all of this is in Smolensk, and only this is in Moscow right now. Plus we got this stuff over here, brailed another factory back. All these guys are sitting in the Mur. This is the front in China. Um, getting ahead of myself there a little bit, uh, but Japan. Uh, Japan interestingly left Korea open, which allowed the U.S. to come in and take it. Um, and they took out the remaining, uh, every, all the Japanese that were adjacent all attacked China in uh, Shenzi. And uh, then bringing all of his air force to his Hunan air base. This has been the situation in China. Um, uh, kind of scared away by the American Navy. Uh, the Japanese Navy went to C-Zone 20 and also split to uh, C-Zone 19, built another uh, battleship and two destroyers with its improved shipyards because of the Wake Island um, Navy that was, he's afraid of me doing an amphibious landing, I suppose. Um, and uh, they still have control of the Money Islands um, and let's see, U.S. Anyway, all right. So U.S. shifted its navy from Wake Island to the Caroline Islands, which is represented with these two task force markers. As you can see, both there. Um, building building another carrier. And oh yeah, Japan also has built units in Kwai Chow and Hong Kong, I believe. And then they also I think built another unit in Manchuria. But anyway. So yeah, U.S. came in and took Korea, China fortified and took back what it could, uh, blitzing through with his cavalry, so now he can't rail from there um, if he wanted to, um, and uh, taking this territory back. Um, the U.S. over here went, the Navy, bulk of the Navy went to, from 106 to uh, 109, meeting up with newly built uh, uh, U.K. units, uh, and uh, the U.S. also took out Argentina, and 
sent the transports up this way. Um, United Kingdom did an interesting thing and declared war on Turkey, um, obliterating it with only three casualties. Um, and in an effort to be kind of confusing or whatever. But anyway, uh, change the landscape, like I was saying in my video. So that's what the UK did. They also landed in Greece and uh, built more units, a couple of more units in Iraq, and another fighter, another destroyer in uh, this sea zone, and a, a battleship and transport in that sea zone. Um, they also took Yunnan back as a walk in, and they took Shan State back. Um, Italy staying with his original, sticking with his original plan as opposed to dealing with all this madness over here, just went to Egypt. So he went to Egypt there. Um, he backed out of Casablanca, allowing the French unit to come in here and take uh, Casablanca back. Um, and then the Italy, the Italian bomber from northern Italy, which I was just not thinking about, made it made its way here with one movement left to land in western Ukraine. Knocked a, he got a lucky shot, knocked out the one Russian infantry that was there. Um, and yeah, as you can see, brought over all these units to take what was left in Egypt, which they, only, they were only fighting against four units, and uh, he only lost one infantry, so good for him. Um, and uh, everything else from Tobruk moving into El Alamein. Um, what else? Anything else? That's, I think that's about it, pretty much. So, uh, Commonwealth. Commonwealth just kind of moved here. Uh, to, like I said, France took that back. Commonwealth took Palau and Marshall Islands. So now that activates uh, one of the new NOs for UK as well as activates the NO for US when, if this is still the case on US's turn. Yeah, so that'd be nice. Maybe. If Japan lets me have it, we'll see. Uh, France, just moved over there. Stayed put there, took that back. The fighter from Brazil flew to Azores. Um, and that's about it. So it's a decent little recap of round five. Um, just need to do a little, a little pan over. So everything on this task force marker is what's in Smolensk. And there's only 11 infantry, two mech and tank, and four fighters and a tactical there. So now, um, Hoofbite has a very interesting uh, chance to bolt for Moscow if he chooses. Because everything here is in western Ukraine. That's seven tanks, right? And he's got all those units, and he can pair. He can he can bring over seven units. Seven ground units plus his bombers or whatever, whatever he chooses, he can do it. So we'll see if he, may, he we'll see if he does. If this, yeah, yeah, sorry, we'll see if he does it. Get a little tongue tied with this. Anyway, um, so that can happen. There's an interesting uh, front happening over here. The conflict in the Middle East is always juicy, and now it is exceptionally juicy. And then this is the force that is in. Uh, Burma right now and this is the China situation China's backed up in the, against the wall right now um, and yeah that is about it so stay tuned for um, Hoof Bites G6 will be coming up shortly I'm, I'm sure I'm sure he's chomping at the bit to do it and uh, yeah we're looking forward to uh, wrapping this up all right and seeing how it pans out